about this show? I think it's a good dynamic of like basically you got a, a leading toy company going out and saying like, look, all these we have one common thread and that's art and cars. So like let's let's work together and just create you here's a blank canvas, have fun with it. But then it's it's a it's a die cast car, it's a new Camaro, so it's it's pretty sick. I think Jada Toys is doing things that other toy companies aren't. Jada Toys is, is pushing the envelope. Kids 15 years from now will be like, oh man, I remember I had this one big time muscle, it was so sick. That's what Jada Toys is doing. John Chase, what do you think about this event so far? Actually, it's really killer, dude. I'm like really stoked on it. A lot of people came out and it's I'm pretty, there's a lot of really awesome cars here. The car, actually, I was at SEMA, the car looks really, really good in person. And the convertible, I would actually want one. So it'd be really cool. But yeah, I mean, and the, and the toy, is actually a great representation of the actual automobile that was I saw at SEMA. So, and it was fun. It made me actually want to drive one. This guy is hardcore. I want to introduce you to John Aranda. He came all the way from Texas just to be in this event. Now, we're going to go see his car right now, and it is sick. Well, it's just a duality thing, you know, hiding the truth, the angel, devil in disguise. What, kind, what type of media did you use? It's uh, charcoal, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, I gotta say that this is one of my favorite pieces, and uh, I just, I'm just so honored to have you here, and the fact that you flew out from Texas is just amazing, dude, and I appreciate it so much. Okay, we got Grant right here from Vans Shoes. Vans. Uh -huh. uh, what do you think about this event so far? Oh, this is incredible. This is the first one you guys are doing? Yeah, this is the first uh, annual, so hopefully we're going to have another one next year and so on. And I'm a, I'm a car guy, and I really like the, the new Camaro. And when, I, when I found out about the event, um, you know, Steve Van Dorn came to me and said, hey, I was talking to, to Wing from Wahoos, and he said there was this event, and he thought of me and said it would be kind of a fun thing for me to do. And so I threw it together uh, pretty quickly because I think I got one of the last cars available. But uh, it was pretty fun. I had a good weekend about at it. And right on, man. Well, again, thanks again for being in the show. Yeah, man. Love your car. Thank you. And uh, we'll talk to you again, man. Yeah. I got Jay Bueno here. He is media from Heavy Hitters. What do you think about the show so far? Uh, turnout's really good. I love the layout. The art's beautiful. Are you going to publish this in the next issue? Uh, yeah, it'll be in a future issue. I don't know about the next issue. I think we already completed that one. Cool. And tell us about this new magazine, Heavy Hitters. Uh, Heavy Hitters is the lifestyles and the wrench of not so famous. These are the guys that uh, work work for their money. They're not celebrities. They're not. They don't come from money. They're just everyday hardworking guys. But they got the Ferraris. Um, you know, they got the Lambos. They got the Bentleys. There you go, Heavy Hitters. Look for it in the stores. First of all, I want to introduce to you Glenn Dupuno. Glenn. How? What do you think about this show so far? Uh, speechless. It's one of the biggest shows I've ever been in. <laughs> now, you came this morning to see what it looked like. What do you think about it now? Speechless. He's, he's speechless. I don't know what to say. So organized. Tell us about your car. It's basically made out of clay. That's it. Clay and wood. What uh, what inspired you to do this? Rat Pink. <laughs> I want to show you one of my favorite pieces that this man right here, Jack Chin, that surprised me so much. Let's go take a look at your piece. Dude, I think you shocked Jada, design team, and me on what you did to your piece. Can you tell us what inspired you to do this thing? And I mean, it's all, it, it's badass. I'm a sneaker pimp. We're sneaker pimps here. And this one's all about sneakers. Dude, tell us what inspired you to do that. Well, really what inspired me to do that was when I saw the car, it took me a while to think. First concept was really just go off something off the wall with like a monster or whatnot. But then the more I looked at it, just the lines of the car really captured me. And as I saw it more and more and more, it just, the shape of the uh, shoe took place with it. And then I took some brainstorming and research. And then what I did is just start playing with the lines and then the lines of this particular shoe fit this car so well and it was just almost together and once I went off with that idea everything just kind of fell into place it was just an honor just to be able to part of the show and to really be able to replicate this and that car really means a lot you know I put a lot of time and energy because I felt that that's what 
that feeling of when you're doing something that you just really feel truly about, and that car really is a lot of me inside it. Uh, I gotta tell you, man, that's one of my favorite pieces, dude. And I told you, I was like, you. that's badass. Thank you. So thanks again, Jack. Thank you. Uh, what do you think about the show so far? Oh, it's great. It's great. I'm having a lot of fun. Have you ever done anything like this before? I have not yet. And what did you think about once you got the car? Was it something that it was a challenge or were you like... It was a bit of a challenge. It's hard getting a guys, nice good line and all of a sudden you hit a curve. It's like, ah! You kind of go off a little bit, but it's fun. I like right, it. Right on. Uh, tell us a little bit of, of your piece and like, where'd you get uh, inspired from or, you know? I do a lot of uh, paintings that all have to do with like, like legends and uh, like myths, uh, kind of like uh, icons of different cultures. And for some reason I, ha I thought of the name uh, Tragic Beauty and I thought of the Banshee of the Irish culture. Traditionally, uh, they have, whenever somebody dies, they have women that cry at their funerals. They're called keeners. But for certain more important families, the woman is actually a uh, fairy woman, a woman from the fairy mound. And those were the Bon Sheed, which literally translates like woman from the fairy mound, like fairy woman. Wow, that's deep, dude. Yeah. That's like deep. We got the world famous Padao of Jada Toys. I don't know about world famous. Maybe famous. Some famous. <laughs> But without him, none of this would have been no, 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 in existence. No, no, no. None of this. It's all a team effort. None of this. Team effort. GM, Jada Toys, Wahoos, all team effort. The Hampton Productions, how can I leave them out? Thank you guys so much Rock for everything. Mullet. Rock the mullet, of course. See that? He knows who to mention on this. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I mean, this is a great turnout. You know, we couldn't have asked for anything else. It's just, this is like the best thing Jada's ever done. How is your car doing? My car's great, man. My car's great. Uh, no, it's over there. It's hanging out. It's bitching. You getting all the pictures, all the girls coming up getting autographs? No, not yet. I'm, I'm waiting. I've, I've just been standing here hanging out waiting for the girls to come up. I got my marker ready. I want to want to sign some autographs. Who do you want to give props to here tonight? Wahoo's TV. <laughs> And John, what's going on tonight? Stress free right now. All right, this is Eddie from Wahoo's TV once again, and we're with the world famous George Barris. So, George, what do you think of this whole culture clap? Well, this is really exciting. This is the first time I've seen there was an artistic display of a lot of creative artists that get into the toy and hobby industry. Because I've been in it way back to the 50s when they first started off, but I'm so excited what Jada Toys has done here because it brought more of us together that we really never got together with before. So, you know, I've been in the uh, film industry for many years. I've done the Batmobile and the Munchers and the Monkeys and the Beverly Hillbillies and Knight Rider and Dukes and all that, but I like this kind of uh, excitement. Very good. So you want to give any last props to anybody here at the show? Well, I got to tell you, if you were not lucky enough to get here, you missed out because you missed the show of the century. Hopefully they'll have it again next year, so they'll get a repeat and you can invite all your people back again. Stay. 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 Stay.